Hello there. Tonight I'm going to show you how to set up plate salving in Astrophotography Tool. This in some ways is the hardest thing because you got to do some preliminary setups. First off, I'm going to go to gear and I'm going to go to point craft and I'm going to go to settings and this screen pops up. So I'm going to clear this because this is how it would look if you've never set this up yet. What you got to do is you've got to download either the plate solve tube program or the all sky point solver. I use plate solve tube. I've had really good luck with it so this is what I'm going to show you how to do. Uh, what you can do is you can press the download button and we're wait a second for the plane wave company. All right, this is the company that makes the point solve 2. You scroll down until you see plate solve 2 and the first thing we're going to do is press the uh, plate solve 2. We're downloading it and there it goes. It's starting to do it. We're going to open it up and here it is. I'm going to close that thing out. And I'm just actually just going to move this to my desktop right now. Close this thing. The other thing you got to download when you do this is you got to download the UCAC3 catalog. And I'm going to press that right now. And it's downloading this. I'm going to pause this because it takes a few minutes for it to uh, download. Or it takes a minute actually. Hmm. Well, the, the pause button doesn't seem to be working, so it's actually downloading quite rapidly. The other thing on here, APM, that is another catalog, but uh, you don't need that for uh, Plate Solve 2. So the only one you really need to worry about is the UCAC. Uh, three uh, catalog. That's actually the um, catalog that uh, holds all the uh, the maps of the night sky. So I'm going to download that or put that to the C drive, and it's copying it to the uh, to my desktop right now. Very good. Okay, I actually downloaded this earlier. That's why it's telling me to replace all the files. I'll just let yeah, go ahead. Well, it takes a second, and I'm going to close this screen, and I'm going to minimize that screen. I'm actually going to close off, or shut down, I should say, Astrophotography Tool, because one of the things they say is when you're um, setting the Plate Solve 2 program up, it interferes with the astrophotography tool, so you've got to turn it off anyways. Okay, let's hold on. Okay, I'm back here. Let me, before I go any further, let me just show you what's in this uh, UCAC directory. Here's all the, um, the files. These are all the, the nice guy, basically. So that's what you just downloaded. One of the things uh, they recommend you do is not put this in that program F86 directory, but put your programs somewhere else. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to open up a my uh, file manager here, and I'm actually going to put the uh, Plate Solve 2 program in a uh, in my C drive. I'm going to put it into uh, PS2 Tutorial. So I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to put it into PS2 Tutorial, and I'm going to replace that already entered it there. The UCAC catalog, I'm going to put that in a subcategory called Starry Ridge. Okay, so I'm going to just download to Starry Ridge. And again, I'm just going to replace all the files that already got it in there. But who cares, I'll just redo it. Okay, now I've got my um, my files inside the where I want them. I'm going to open up the PS2 tutorial. And here's the Plate Solve 2 program, and here's the executable file. 
you want to start this up. Okay, and you'll get a screen like this. I can actually down uh, minimize that. You get this screen, and you want to go to Hit File, Configure Catalogs, and since we want to use the UCAC, we're going to go to select that directory. And notice it says no directory, directory not found. That's because it's looking for it somewhere else. We've got to tell it where it is. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I put it into Starry Ridge. And there it is, UC3CP. And I highlight that. And look, it says the status has changed OK. Now we're all set with that. The other thing you have to change is you go to Edit Parameters. And you see where it says Sigma or maximum star size. You want to change that to something above 8. I'm going to go with 9. I've had good luck with 9. And where it says detection threshold, threshold, you want to change that to 8. The other parameters in here, you can leave them, this, leave them alone. You don't have to mess with them. And make sure this says this button is depressed where it says UCAC3. You got to make sure that's uh, depressed as well. And I got these numbers from the Astrophotography Tool Forum. Uh, I got them from Ivo himself, who uh, was recommending these, these parameter settings. Anyways, you press OK. And we're all set right now uh, with the preliminary stuff. I can close this out. And I'm going to open up Astrophotography Tool in a second and finish up. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to open up uh, Astrophotography Tool and finish up uh, quickly. But before I do that, I want to do one little thing. I want to open up the Plate Solve program where I downloaded it, which was in the C drive, if you remember. Go to C drive. And I had it in uh, PS2 tutorial. And the file is called plate solve 2.28. I don't know if you actually have to do this or not, but I'm just going to delete the 0.28 and just make it plate solve 2. And that's fine. So I'm going to oops, close that off. I'm going to go open up astrophotography tool. It only takes a second. Go okay. Move that down. I'm going to go to gear, point craft, settings. This screen pops up. It's blank, just like you guys would have it. But now I have the uh, files loaded in here. So all I have to do is direct it where to the path. And that was in the C drive. And I have it in, for this tutorial, I have it in PS2 tutorial, plate solve 2. Hit OK, and there it is. My um, my point craft is now registered. It knows where it is, and it can uh, access those uh, those night sky files. Again, if I wanted to do the all plate all sky plate solver, that's the one you use for blind plate solving. You can you're welcome to try that too. I've never used it. I've only used this plate solve too, and I've had really good luck with it. Anyways, I hope this helps, and we'll see you later.